Instant Pudding, that good, good, busy day dessert. And Jell-O, America's favorite gelatin dessert, now in 10 delicious flavors. Present Anne Jeffries as Marion Kirby, the ghostess with the mostess. Robert Sterling as George Kirby, that most sportive spirit. And Leo G. Carroll, host to said ghost as Topper. This is Cosmo Topper, bank vice president, loving husband, and no, he's not a magician. George and Marion Kirby are doing that. Ghosts. Yes, a handsome couple who were swallowed by an avalanche and came back to spread a little joy into a sedate businessman's life. And that's their ghost dog, Neil, the St. Bernard who couldn't save them. That's what you get for drinking on the job, old boy. Aren't they a wonderful bunch? And just think, Topper is the only person in the whole world who can see or hear them, except you and I, of course. Well, it's off to the bank for Topper. What a way to start the day. Why can't we, Cosmo? Just for the weekend. But, Henrietta, really, I, I'm loaded down with work. And I... We really haven't had a chance to enjoy that boat since we bought it last summer. Please, dear. Well, all right. But I'll have to hire a man to do some repair work on her and get her ship shaped. Oh, Cosmo, I'm so happy. We'll have a wonderful time together. Yes, dear, just you and I. And George. And Marion. And George and Marion. Uh, what did you say, dear? Are we having guests? Uh, no, ghosts. Ghosts? Uh, forget about it, dear. Uh, no one will be with us. <laughs> All right, Cosmo. I'll see you this evening. Bye. Uh, goodbye, dear. Oh, please stop all this nonsense. I still have to work for a living, you know, and I'm behind schedule. Work? Work? How can you think about working when we have such a beautiful weekend ahead of us? Oh, he's right, Topper. We're going sailing. Come on, get into the mood. Well, I am rather looking forward to it. Oh. You know, back in my youth, uh, I was quite a swashbuckler. You still are, Topper, darling. No, I'm afraid any swash I ever had got unbuckled years ago. <laughs> Don't get it. I can see us on the boat now. Yes, come on, Topper. Stand up on the poop deck and watch out for the reef. Huh? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Yeah, I say what... Oh, Topper. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Topper. Topper, what in heaven's name are you doing? Well, uh, it's um, an economic move. Uh, I'm watching the overhead. Hmm. <laughs> You're familiar with our client, Harvey Middleton? Harvey Middleton? Oh, certainly. He speculates in real estate. Yes, well, he wants to put in a bid on an hotel that's being auctioned off in Las Vegas. Las Vegas? Yes, and I'd like you to fly to Las Vegas, submit the bid, and uh, act in his behalf, if it's accepted. But, Mr. Scott, I rather plan to spend the weekend on my boat. Couldn't somebody else go to Las Vegas? Oh, this is a job for you, Topper. <laughs> Demands a man of your dignity and, uh, and tactful demeanor. Las Vegas. Fun at the Flamingo. I can hardly wait to get at a roulette wheel. Steady, George. Round and round the little ball goes, and where she stops, nobody knows. Topper, what on earth happened to you? Oh, I, uh, nothing. I, I was just reminding myself to buy a round-trip ticket. <laughs> Henrietta, it's my contention that there isn't room in this world for women in pants. And in some cases, there's no room in the pants for women. <laughs> anyway, we can't go on the boat after all. Can't go? No, some important business has come up. I, I, I'm flying to Las Vegas. I planned it. But... Oh, you're going with me. We're flying on the 10 o'clock plane tonight. Oh. You'd better get packed. What's that clicking sound? Uh, oh, it, it's just my knees knocking together there. Um, I never did get over my fear of flying. Well, no? um, Times he's such a strange man. <laughs> now, what's going on here? George, Marion, where are you two? Come on, dice, Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. 
That's your guy. Ace my point. Old Ada from Decay. Right back, Eight. Seven, you lose. Now it's my turn. What is all this? Hi, Toppy. We're just practicing for Las Vegas. Well, here goes. Seven come eleven. What's those snake eyes? Oh. Juicy, juicy. That's four the hard way. Four is a point. Little Joe from Kokomo. Come on, guys. Get on. Little Joe, it is. I win. Come on, Topper. If you get in the game, we'll play for money. Oh, don't be absurd. I wouldn't wager a penny on a game of chance. Oh, there's no chance here, darling. George is an expert dice cheat. Watch this fancy Greek backhand roll. I'll throw a 12. Double six box card. Now, you see, Topper, if you've been betting me, you'd have won. You don't say. You know, best one could master this game if we went at it scientifically. Okay, Topper, let's see your roll. Let's see how you do. Oh, well, thank you. Let's see. As I observed it, you, uh, you, you shake them like this, then you mutter at them. Be warm, dice. Seven come eleven. Be <laughs> nice, dice. Little Joe from Boston. Look out for box eyes and snake cars. Oh, hello, dear. What are you doing? Why, uh, I noticed that our begonia was withering. I was just sending up a Navajo prayer for rain. Hurry, dear. We haven't much time. Now, don't worry about me. I'll be ready in plenty of time. Yes. Oh, it should be a marvelous trip. Just you and I. And George. And Marion. Uh, yes, just the four of us. Four of us? Uh, well, uh, you'll be coming with me. That's two. I'll be going with you. That's another two. And altogether, that's four. <laughs> oh, Castle, you're so silly, but I love you. We we'll have a marvelous time. Mr. and Mrs. Cosmo Topper. For one moment, Mr. Topper, I'll check. Oh, we had a pretty good take last night, even with the small crowd. How's the action been today? I said, how's the... What's wrong with you? What are you staring at? That guy that's just checking in at the desk. Well, what about him? His face. I know his face from somewhere, Mr. Martin. No, no, don't tell me you found another criminal. Oh, this time I'm positive, boss. I got a photographic mind, and I know that face. He's a big-time crooked gambler. Him, a crooked gambler? I tell you, I remember his face from the police files. I used to be one of the top men on the force here, you know. <laughs> top men on the force. The you found a beat so far out in the country it was a long-distance phone call to the station. Oh, but, boss, now, you know that... Forget it. You may have a photographic mind, but they forgot to develop the negative. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Topper. If you just follow the bellboy, he'll take you to your room. Oh, why don't you go on up there and rest before dinner? I'm going over to the attorney's office to submit Middleton's bid on this hotel. All right, dear. I am a little weary from the trip. All right. Hiya, Topper. Welcome to Las Vegas. You two here already, are you? Oh, we've been here for hours. You see, we fly faster than you can, Topper. No headwinds, no plane. Come on, Topper, let's try our luck in the casino. Oh, this isn't a pleasure trip, George. I've got to get Middleton's bid over to the attorney's office. Okay, we'll see you back here later. Then we can try out the crap table. In the meantime, here's some dice to practice with. Bye, Topper. How did you do that? What? Those dice. They, they stayed up in the air by themselves. Oh, yes, yes, I, uh, I got them in a floating crack game. <laughs> then these dice fall through the air and land right in his hand. Once I've seen a lot of rigged dice, but never anything like this. Lapity, haven't I told you before, I don't want you drinking on the job. Oh, so my word, word of honor, I, I am just a trap. For your information, I checked the register, and this crook you're tailing happens to be Mr. Cosmo Topper, a prominent banker. 
Now, will you get this out of your head and get off my back? Okay, boss, okay. Don't get excited. I'm just trying to do my job. Then do it. And please, Lafferty, leave our guests alone, will you? Oh, yes, Mr. Topper. You can take it over there in booth one. Thank you. Yes, this is Topper. Collect? All right, I'll pay the charges. Hello, Mr. Topper. This is Ollie Larson. The fellow you hired to repay your boat? Yeah. I called the bank and they told me where you were. Oh, yes. I, I had to come here on a big deal. Um, what's wrong? You didn't tell me what you wanted done. Well, to begin with, I've got a crooked dick. Yeah, I saw that. And you know your rudder's binding? You want me to replace the cable? Yes, and I think you, uh, I think the wheel might be, uh, might be fixed. All right, Mr. Thomas. I'll work on that okay, and I'll have a back. Oh, uh, you want me to stock the food lockers? No, no. I loaded them before I left. <laughs> I, I hope you don't mind me calling you up there. What, are you on a business trip? Uh, that's right. I won't be here long, though. I'll be leaving as soon as I put over a big bank job. <laughs> that's right. All right. See you soon. Celebrity. If somebody came to you and said he heard this guy Topper admit he was a big gambler and a crook over the telephone, what would you do? I'd fire him. What was it you wanted, Lafferty? Uh, nothing, boss. I, I just happened to be passing this way. Uh, sorry to be so long, dear. That's all right, dear. I've been writing to Thelma. Oh, that's nice. Thelma and I have been corresponding for years. Whenever I go any place, I write to her, and she writes to me whenever she leaves town. But Selma hasn't been out of town since we've known her. You know, that's right. I wondered why I never get any mail from her. Can you please get me the law firm of Price and Gidlow? You know, I'll bet Selma would just love it here in Las Vegas. Doesn't she strike you as being the desert type? Yeah, she does, rather. Flat and dry. No, I Hello? Hello. Mr. Price? Oh, this is Cosmo Topper. I was just calling up to find out if the bids have been opened on that hotel deal yet. I see. Oh, thanks very much. I'm starting to open the bids now. It's a good thing I got ours in when I did. <laughs> Look at him sitting there, Marion. What was that? Uh, uh, just a mouse, dear. Sounded like the door. Uh, yes, I know. It was a dormouse. Oh. Topper, I'm ashamed of you. I am too, Topper. You were coming to the casino with us. I'll never kiss you again. I don't know what else to write to Thelma. Hmm. You might react to what Marion said, Topper. You might just tell her to go and jump in the lake. Why should I do that? You know perfectly well, Thelma can't swim a stroke. Besides, it's too late anyway. I finished the letter. I'm going downstairs and mail it, dear. Oh. You've been a bad, bad boy. And to punish you, I'm going to take off your shoes and tickle your feet. Oh, no, Mary, not my feet. <laughs> now then, explain yourself. Why didn't what? you join us in the casino? Yes, your work's all done. Let's go have some fun. Well, I, I came here on a business trip. I know nothing about gambling. Well, if that's your only problem, forget it. We'll teach you. What? No, I, I'm not leaving this room tonight. Okay. If Mohammed won't go to the mountains, we'll be right back. George. Marion. I wonder if there's any chance for advancement in the foreign region. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'll find out how he did it. Poor guy's had too much sunshine. And maybe too much moon dye. Should be old money. Keep a card, George, so you'll know how it's done. Well, all I've got is one of the toppers. Hand it to him and let's go to the casino. <laughs> What's his room number? 218. What's up, Lafferty? I'm going to search his room. Right from the start, I had this guy pegged for a crook. Martin laughs. Then I seem to do some hanky-panky or some dice. Martin laughs some more. Then I overhear him plotting a big knockoff with some accomplice. Martin threatens to fire me if I so much as crack it. And just now, a pair of dice flies right out of my hand, goes off into the air, and reads the cards. So, so I thought I'd go up to his room and... And what, Lafferty? Uh, uh, and see if he needs any towels. Oh, we just borrowed these for a few minutes to uh, check you out on the finer points of gambling. Hey, come on, Topper, sit down. Come on. No, we'll try to let George give me some chips. Here we are. All right, Topper, tell me what number you want, and we'll start the ball rolling. Oh, I'll try 22. 22, the man says. Let's show top of the slot machine, huh? Now, all you have to do is put a nickel in the slot and pull the handle. Isn't it amazing what you can do with a little luck and a screwdriver? And, and now, would you like to try it, Topper? No, I don't want to try it. Now, get this junk out of here. Henrietta may be back any minute. Well, then, will you come down to the casino with us? No, I will not. All right, then. We'll just leave all this stuff right here, and you can explain it to Henrietta. Oh, no, no, you, you couldn't do that. Oh, but we could. Uh, listen, I hear someone coming down the hall. Will you come down and gamble with us? All right, all right. Only get this stuff out of here. It's the deal. Come on, George, help me. Hurry up, George. I hear them coming. Oh, quick, let's take them out the patio door. Where's the roulette wheel and slot machine you said was in here? I saw it with my own eyes, boss. I swear it. It was right there. A roulette wheel in our room. Why, the man's demented. There must be some mistake. Yes, there is. And it's him. It was right there, boss. And the slot machine. I'm very sorry for this intrusion, Mr. Topper. And I'm so sorry to have inconvenienced you, Mrs. Topper. Lafferty here seems to be suffering from hallucinations. Come along, Lafferty. I want to talk to you downstairs. How absurd. Imagining a roulette wheel in our room. Preposterous. <laughs> and a slot machine. Oh. I never had anything to... <laughs> what are all those nickels doing on the floor? Uh, oh, oh, nickels? Uh, oh, um, yes. Uh, well, you came here for a rest and change, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the change. And I think I'll have a rest. Go <laughs> on, Copper. Go to the cashier's window and change some money. All right. Wait here, Henrietta. Of course, now he's going to gamble. Okay, that's what we were hoping for. 
Honest, Lafferty, you worry me. Could you please give me five nickels for a quarter? Some big time gambler. Well, that's the way some of them operate. Throws the suckers off guard. <laughs> George, where are you? I got some change. Let's get it over with. Change? We're not going to play slot machines. Throw those nickels away. What? Oh, no. Have you lost your mind? Why are you throwing your money away? Well, uh, this is Las Vegas. I just eliminate the middleman. <laughs> New shooter coming out seven away. Get your bets down, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Gopher. You put a dollar down and just let it ride. <laughs> we'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Gopher. As if you need it. Get your bets down, ladies and gentlemen. New shooter coming out. All right, sir, roll them. Eight, eight, the number. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I called it wrong. Seven, pay the front line. Take the don't. Roll them, sir. Let it ride. Let it ride. Eleven, a natural a winner. Pay the front line. Take the don'ts. Get your money down, ladies and gentlemen. Shooter and a great one. Roll them. Let it ride. Let it ride. Seven, another natural. Pay the front line, take the don'ts. Got a hot hand. Get your money down, ladies and gentlemen. Roll them. Let it ride. Nine the point. Coming out, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Nine. Make nine, sir. Well, uh, let it ride. Come on, nine. I told you, boss. I told you. That topper guy's at the dice table and he's winning. So what if the guy wins a few bucks? That doesn't make him a crook. Oh, yeah? That's what you think. It just so happens he made 38 straight passes and he's busting the bank. What? Six, six to point. Mark six. Make six, sir. Good. Hold it. What's the matter, Topper? Uh, what was my point? Six. Okay, there you go. Six a winner, pay the line. Just I stayed right in there, just like I told you. Well, that's what I thought, but who'd believe us? This guy's gonna break the joint, but there's no way to prove he's cheating. That's enough, Topper. Mary and I are tired. And we've had our fun, so we're going to bed. And wait. Here, Topper. Take these in case you stay late. They're all phonies. Good night, Topper. Good night, Topper boy. I guess my point is 29. Come along, Mr. Topper. Cash them in. So Lafferty was right after all. He said you were a crook. Well, now, see here. Cosmo Topper. I was suspicious of you the minute you checked in here. A typical criminal face. The telegram just came for you at the desk, boss. I haven't got time, Lafferty. Is the police on the way? I think you'd better read it now, boss. Oh, all right, let's see it. Dear Martin, this is to notify you that the hotel has been sold to Mr. Harvey Middleton. Until further notice, all operations will be under direct supervision of Middleton's representative. Mr. Cosmo Topper. You uh, still want me to call the police, boss? Of course not, you bonehead. But why did you? I mean, in the casino. Oh, uh, uh, just a test. Thanks to Lafferty here, I was apprehended. As a matter of fact, I've been impressed by his efficiency since I came here. So for the time being, I'm putting him in full charge as acting manager. Come, Henrietta. Oh, by the way, if, if you would care to stay on here as Lafferty's assistant, I'd love to... Explain. Did uh, you hear what he said? Yeah. Boss. A John W. Lupton, Bernard L. Schubert production. Produced by John W. Lupton. 
starring Anne Jeffries, Robert Sterling, and Leo G. Carroll.